Experts agree that the accurate assessment of body composition is an important tool in evaluating the overall growth and nutritional status of both preterm and term infants. Even in infancy, a child's ratio of fat to lean can provide valuable insight to their future health. Until recently, there lacked a practical method to easily and precisely assess body composition during infancy. This had significantly limited the use of body composition measurements in both research and clinical practice. Now, with the introduction of Life Measurement's Peapod Infant Body Composition System, highly accurate and reliable infant body composition information can be obtained using a fast, accurate, and safe technology. Researchers and clinicians can use infant body composition data in monitoring and modifying the effects of nutritional support as well as medical and drug interventions, developing normative data for assessing infant growth patterns, assessing early infant growth associated with health risks in later life, and investigating release criteria in neonatal intensive care unit settings where determinations were previously based primarily on infant body weight. The Peapod uses air displacement plethysmography, the most innovative technology available today to provide quick and easy estimates of an infant's body fat and fat-free mass. Air displacement plethysmography is the same technology used in the BodPod body composition tracking system, which has been assessing the body composition of adults and children since 1994. The operating principles are similar to those of hydrostatic or underwater weighing, but air displacement plethysmography uses air as a medium instead of water. This means that testing is significantly easier and more comfortable, particularly for special populations such as the obese, elderly, diseased, and the disabled, and makes it the ideal technology for use with infants. With air displacement plethysmography, body fat and fat-free mass are estimated using a classic densitometric approach. This involves the direct measurement of body mass using a very precise scale and body volume using an enclosed chamber. The amount of space the infant occupies within the chamber, along with the application of gas laws, is used to determine the body volume. The body mass and body volume information is then used to calculate body density. Based on the assumption that body mass is comprised of two compartments, fat and fat-free mass, each with a known density, body density can then be used to calculate the amount of the infant's body fat. The Peapod is designed to measure body weight and estimate body composition in infants weighing between 1 and 8 kilograms. It offers a safe and non-invasive testing environment and accommodates most infant behaviors, including excessive movement and some crying, as well as urination and defecation. In addition to being extremely cost-effective, there are no special technician licenses necessary to operate the Peapod. Required operator training is minimal since the simple, step-by-step -step software directs the operator through the entire test process. Each Peapod is a complete turnkey system. Everything needed to operate the unit is included and the convenient mobile cart design allows the Peapod to be rolled to the infant for bedside assessments or to other areas as needed. The Peapod is operated using a touchpad, keyboard, and an integrated monitor computer. Its major components consist of a scale for measuring body mass and a test chamber for estimating body volume. The test chamber tray is fully retractable, which allows for easy placement of the infant inside the test chamber. A urination shield is also provided to contain fluids within the test chamber tray. The numerous infant safety and comfort features of the Peapod's test chamber include air circulation and temperature control systems, which provide a stable thermal microenvironment during testing. Additional safety features include constant temperature and CO2 level monitoring within the test chamber, an emergency off switch, and a sophisticated alarm system. Calibration standards are also included for evaluating the Peapod's performance. An entire Peapod test from start to finish 
takes approximately five minutes. To ensure accurate results, it is very important that infants are tested nude and that they have their hair flattened with baby oil prior to beginning the test. For the same reason, infants with curly or large amounts of hair should wear a cap provided by life measurement during the body composition test to compress their hair. The Peapod test process begins with a two-minute automatic volume calibration. During this calibration period, other portions of the test are performed, with screen prompts guiding the operator through each step of the test sequence. While the volume calibration is underway, basic infant information is typed into the software program or retrieved from the software if the infant has been tested previously. Next, the infant's mass is measured using the Peapod scale. This measurement usually lasts between 6 and 20 seconds, depending on the infant's movement. Once the data entry and mass measurement steps are completed, the two-minute volume calibration has normally concluded. At this point, the infant is placed in the Peapod test chamber tray for the two-minute volume measurement. During the entire volume measurement period, the infant is clearly visible at all times through the acrylic window. At the conclusion of the volume measurement, the door to the Peapod chamber automatically opens indicating the infant can be removed from the test chamber tray. In the meantime, the body composition test results are displayed on the computer screen and saved in the computer. Test results can then be printed, as well as custom reports generated and printed based on specifically selected parameters. And remember, if for any reason a Peapod test is interrupted, the procedure can be repeated as often as necessary because it's fast and non-invasive. The Peapod presents a new opportunity for tracking infant body composition changes over time in a format that can easily be viewed, printed, and analyzed. This includes monitoring longitudinal changes in body composition and displaying them in a graphical format, similar to a growth chart. Researchers and clinicians now have the vital tool necessary to assist in the assessment of infant growth and nutritional status, especially in preterm infants. They also have the essential body composition data necessary to help understand the infant growth process and the factors that alter it, such as undernutrition, overnutrition, and disease.